Welcome back everyone, Mike here. Pumpkins already. I'm telling you what, fall has really snuck up on us. Doesn't feel a whole lot like fall today though. It's about 85 degrees. We got a little bit of a heat wave going right now and we have storms all around us. So I'm not going to venture too far from the house. I'm going to try to get a little bit of mowing done first and we'll see what the weather does and we'll see what we get into tonight. We met Iron Horse at Buckenstock, and actually, while Mike finishes up the mowing, we're going to play, put a clip from Buckenstock right here. And um, Iron Pony, Iron Horse, kidding. Iron Horse, just kidding with ya. All good fun. I don't mind being called Stephanie. I've been called a lot worse. Iron Horse, tell us about this yeah. saw. Okay, Are you ready? This is Iron Horse. He built this saw for this event to be raffled off today, right? That's right. And I can't wait to see somebody get this. This is a 372 Husky, the real deal. It's a dominant saw. I'll tell you what that sticker means. It's a dominant piston from the uh, dominant saw. They actually donated that for this. This one's got the hybrid ceramic bearings in the bottom end of it. It frees up a little horsepower. Uh, you can run more RPMs if you want. We're keeping this toned down to around 15,000 a day. But we toned get down. <laughs> yeah, we are, you know. And uh, they, are, they got an 80,000th dome on this piston. Uh, this is full bag, what Bucking likes. That's the same as I build for Bucking, I'll tell you right now. Okay. No different. So don't think that if whoever's getting this saw is getting lesser, they're getting the same. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Buck can come up with a really cool design for a muffler, which you probably heard about that yeah. behind the scenes, yeah. didn't you? Mm -hmm. For four months, he was after me. Boy, he says, 
I heard you gotta get your own muffler, you gotta get your own muffler. I said, I ain't a muffler guy. I'm, he said, I, I played with him, I never got anywhere. Well, I'll tell you what Bucket did. Everybody knows uh, about them bear claw buff mufflers, the bucket yeah. runs. He says, do the same thing, get it in the muffler. Here's what we ended up with. Okay. I'll flip it over and see the accent. Gotcha. It makes the saw pull. It works. It's not as good as having a racing pipe, mm -hmm. but it'll sure give it fence. Uh, I'm waiting to see who gets this. It's going to be really fun tonight to watch this. I hope you guys are here for that, you know? Yeah, we'll be here. Yeah, it's like this. Uh, bring your wife over. Let's, let's look at the similarity. Now, look at this. Don't, we look just alike. You see that? <laughs> we look just alike. Someone else has the same I mean, outfit on. Look, look at the shirts. I know. <laughs> Who wore it better? That's the like, question. well, you know, I got the old country thing, and you got the, like, I, man, I'm, I'm knocking this off, you know. <laughs> it's a great look on you. Yeah, you got to love her. You married her for a reason. I married you? up. I know that. Oh. Yeah, good man. Love your videos. You do a great. Thanks, you do for great stuff, man. I really appreciate it. All right, so what chain you got on now? This is, it's an Oregon chain that I hand filed square. Um, it was originally a square chain out of the box, but put a little touch on it. I don't, don't claim to be good at it. It's really one of my first hand filed squares, but shout out to Yankee Doodle because he uh, supervised me. All right. So he gave it. He gave it the seal of approval. Okay. So is it gonna do all right? <laughs> it must be all right. Yankee Doodle says yes. So. Should be fine. No, that, that be beautiful flower saw. These 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 saws. You always tell how how hard they were used. Turn them over, right there. Yeah, that's how a, much paint's on the bottom. Yeah, that gives you a real indication. That's right. And that's just from dancing around in a pickup. Yeah, and that's all that is. You don't even know what what what, what the motors had done to it. It's as far as I know, stock. Well, if it's stock, and then and then another good way to find out too is is put it on the you know I mean that's a long bar. Is that 42 or 36? That's 36. 36. 118 drive lengths. Yeah. So is is the mounts on them? If you're if, you know you're picking them up or you're going going to buy them or whatever, you get parts still, please. <laughs> They're hard to come by, but you can get them. You know, they're there, but uh, this one's in good shape. It, it's in good shape. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's on. <laughs> Is this uh, usually a, a choker? No, it's, it's, it's warm. warm. It's warm. It's warm. <laughs> Well, the rains came and went. Uh, we got quite a bit there in about a half hour's time. I got all the mowing done here at the house except for this little section right up here. I'm gonna go ahead and mow it even though it's uh, really wet. We'll see how this X mark does in wet grass. But I'll tell you what, this thing cuts fast and it has a very nice cut. Look at this little clip right here. That was really tall and really thick. What happens this time of year, at least to me, is you know the grass growing kind of slows down quite a bit and you don't think about it a whole lot. And next thing you know, it's two and a half or three weeks before you cut the grass and uh, you don't realize how thick it is and how tall it is because it kind of grows pretty even this time of year. But yeah, this did a really good job so far. Right now we're gonna see how it does in this uh, wet stuff. 
And then after that, I want to show you that uh, three-point trailer mover. Uh, a subscriber to our channel made it for me. Really, really nice. But I had a few ideas, and uh, I want to kind of go over it with you guys and see what you think about ways to maybe even improve it and make it even better. That looks really good, especially considering that it was uh, soaking wet. And if you notice, there's none of those, you know, clumpity clumps laying there, wet grass, big piles of it anywhere. It's all gone, cleaned up real nice. But anyway, let's go take a look at this uh, three-point trailer mover and see how we can think of ways maybe we can even improve it better than it already is. All right, here it is. Like I said, one of our subscribers made this for us and it works fantastic. I use it for uh, skidding out logs. I use it on both the RK37 and the RK55. I actually use this for uh, one ginormous red oak that I estimated to weight around 5,000 pounds and it works really well. As you can see it's got a ball on top, two hooks on the side, right here you could put a clevis or something in here. And plus it has a receiver down here for a hitch. So these two hooks right here are what I primarily use. I just hook a chain onto it, hook it around the log. You know, this all attaches to your three-point hitch, and you lift it up, get that front of the log up off the ground. Works really, really well. What I was wondering is ways to kind of improve on this even a little bit more. I'm not sure how. It'd be nice to be able to carry just a couple things with you. Uh, it's definitely not going to replace, you know, like a big tool rack that I have. You can fit tons of equipment on it. So, so what I was thinking is what if, you know, this was extended up a little bit higher, you had a little box on this thing here, maybe two more hooks down on the sides, somewhere to put a chain, and maybe even a place to put your chainsaw. I don't know if it's possible or not. Uh, if you have any ideas, though, you know, because you can't really put a chainsaw mount back here, because when you pick logs up, it's going to slide into it, and there's no room on the back side when it's hooked up to the tractor. And there's not a lot of room on these sides with these hooks. I'm just trying to think. I wonder if you turn the hooks here, if this would hurt you at all. Put the hooks here and here and have something on the side to mount your chainsaw. I don't know. Like I said, I'm just thinking out loud. And the reason I'm talking about this is the other day I went out in the woods to get just a log. I had it cut all ready to go, but I ended up needing a few things, you know, besides a chainsaw, just a couple other things, a strap another chain didn't have it with me and it would be nice to have some way to do that on here and I just haven't figured it out yet so if you have any ideas let me know in the comments uh, what you think could be done with this like I said it works fantastic the way it is I'm just thinking of ways to maybe even make it a little bit better oh boy Melissa thought she saw something we're still on high alert around here that's right I'm gonna lay this down okay I don't know we we're just talking about this and ways, if there's ways to improve it, to be able to put a few things on it. I'm not even sure if there is, but I asked them for any suggestions that they so may like have. The big tool rack. Yeah, it's never going to be able to carry. Like the the purse 
And this is like the makeup bag. What? what uh, I, I don't really like to think of it that way, but you you have a point. You do. Yeah. Well, I hope Piper's not in, in frame right so, now. So the big tool rack is more like um well, you can go with the big the big purse suitcase yeah yeah oh boy talk about big oh boy i heard big hello well i didn't get a whole lot done tonight but i did manage to get all the mowing done even with a uh, rain delay that worked out really well <laughs> yeah so uh, coming up is the Paul Bunyan show. Yeah, first weekend in October. So that's uh, October, the 4th is a Friday, the 5th is Saturday, and the 6th is a Sunday. Yeah, and we'll be there so, at least Friday afternoon. Yeah. And uh, all day Saturday. Might be even be there all day Friday. I don't know yet for sure. But it'd be great, you know, if some of you guys want to come. We've had a lot of fun uh, meeting people over the last couple of months. It has been fun, yeah. And it's a good show. We went to this one last year. Um, it's big. But yeah, anyway, the Paul Bunyan Show, they have everything there when it comes to logging, you know, sawmills, forestry work. I don't even know how to, what, I mean, log splitters, chainsaws, the whole way up to big tub grinders. They got everything there, and it's near Cambridge, Ohio. And remember last year when we went, though, it was actually hot for October. It was, it was really hot. warm that day when we were there. Hopefully, it's a uh, typical fall weekend. Uh, it's a really nice time of year. And I'm telling you what, it's coming quick. I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I came home, Melissa got pumpkins. Piper, what's the deal here? <laughs> so Melissa got pumpkins, which is kind of a fall thing around here. And I'm like, is it really that time of year already? <laughs> oh, one more thing. I don't know if we mentioned the fox has been coming back again. I said before, I thought we came to an understanding, but apparently we did not. And also, we have a big coyote running around as well. Uh, it was over at Neighbor Cliffs the other day, ran right through his yard, came this way about 9.30 in the morning. And uh, Cliff can size those things, and he said it's a pretty good size one. And, uh, you know, I've heard in the past that people say, if you have fox, you don't have coyote around, or vice versa. That's obviously we not the so case. We, we got them both. Lucky and, uh, we have both. So we're not how sure this is. So we're not sure how this is all going to go down. And a bald eagle. Yeah, and a bald eagle. Got all kind of predators around here. Just stuff killing one another. It's, it's, Poor chickens. It's pretty rough. But anyway, I think that's about it. But a couple things there. Let us know if you think there's any way this can be improved. Also, let us know if you're coming to the Paul Bunyan Show. Do you have anything you'd like to add, Melissa? No. All right. Well, like I always say, if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like button, click subscribe, share them with your friends. Thanks.